The Crypto Fear and Greed Index has fallen back down slightly, back from extreme greed down to greed. And some people are wondering, well, what's going on with Bitcoin? Why aren't altcoins moving so much? And how high are we gonna see Bitcoin's price go? So before we dive into all of that, if you guys enjoy short form, concise, no BS content that doesn't waste either of our times, well, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, Patreon is still completely sold out. We sold out over 500 spots the other day. If you guys would like to join, we have a free Discord that I'm always in talking about crypto, stocks, and everything else going on in the market. Just use the link down below. But anyways, right now the Crypto Fear and Greed Index has come back slightly over the last couple of days. We saw it get to extreme greed at about 78 and before falling back down to around the 70 level. This indicates that there has been a little bit of uncertainty in the market. Market. Yes, we're still in the greed territory, it means that people are still accumulating, but because altcoins haven't been moving, because Bitcoin's price has come back slightly, people are just a little unsure about what is going on. With regards to Bitcoin, there are a lot of very positive catalysts in the market right now that many people aren't talking about. And the first is going to be with Bitcoin search interest. Bitcoin search interest nears one year lows as Bitcoin's price dipped briefly below $55,000 per coin. And this is very, very exciting and positive for crypto because first of all, this pullback doesn't worry most people who have been in crypto for a while because we are still up 30%, 40% from just a couple of weeks ago. But not only this, but having a low profile, keeping this low profile where Bitcoin search interest on Google is extremely low when we're only 15% from all time highs means that we have a very strong community of a lot of interest in Bitcoin, but people aren't even searching it. Google Trends typically mimic price movements for Bitcoin. If we look at Bitcoin's um, search interest over the last five years, we can see that back in 2017, we saw it reach an all time high at the end of 2017, early, early 2018, right when Bitcoin's price was reaching an all time high of that bull market. Now we're seeing again that in about April, May, we saw it not even reach a high, but about 50 on this Google Trends search interest. And we will reach that about $65,000 per coin. Now we are significantly lower than that. We're less than 20 on this Google search interest, like interest over time, yet we are still almost at record highs. So if we would look at how history indicates what happens, well, when we see Bitcoin's price reach an all time high, we're gonna see this search interest skyrocket to about that 100 level where we're seeing all time record highs in terms of number of searches for Bitcoin. Yet right now we are still significantly off off of that, which shows us that we have not even experienced FOMO yet. Everyone who is in crypto has been in it. And once we start seeing FOMO where, where people are fearful that they're missing out on crypto, start pouring money in, that's when we'll see this search interest spike. That's when we'll see Bitcoin's price go significantly higher than where it is right now. People are saying, well, how high is Bitcoin's price going to go? Tech Dev came out on Twitter. He had a pretty good analysis of this. He looked at the RSI, the bi-weekly RSI in 2013, 2017. And first of all, he's had multiple times we've talked about this, how there have always been two peaks in the RSI into the overbought territory in each bull market. This bull market, we have only seen one peak so far. You can see at the bottom of the screen. But each bull market, we have seen that from the mid cycle, there was about a 30% increase in RSI to the all time high. We have not seen that yet yet happen, but when we do see it, and if we do see it happen, that would bring us to a top of over $300,000 per coin for Bitcoin. So whatever we're looking at, technicals, whether you think Bitcoin's gonna reach 200,000 or 300,000, either way, if we're looking at this technical indicator right here and apply this 30% rule that we've applied every year in the past, it would put Bitcoin's price well above $300,000 per coin by the end of this bull market. So it'd be like the first quarter of 2021. Lastly, with regard to technical indicators, Plan B, the creator of the stock to flow model, he came out and showed us a new chart, um, referenced this, and this is the 200 week moving average. He shows us that over the last couple of years, really since 2013, since Bitcoin was first started, we have always seen this 200 week moving average go up and we have always seen Bitcoin's price um, able to stay 
above it. This is very, very important because this is showing us that nothing has changed in the long-term trends of Bitcoin. We are finally starting to see more institutional interest. And while this chart shows us that we may see a bit of a pullback, it's, you know, we could pull back down to that 200 week moving average. Ultimately, we are still trending in the right direction. So that's what's going on with technical indicators. Lastly, what I want to talk about with um, like mass adoption before we finish up the video, is with Stripe. Stripe is hiring a crypto team after three years, after they just had ended their crypto services three years ago. 2018, from 2014 to 2018, they offered Bitcoin as a form of payment, um, but now they, they'd stopped that at 2018. Now they're picking this back up again. And this is important because Stripe is a payment processor. According to data, they process hundreds of billions of dollars in payments every single year. So they have the ability to easily add Bitcoin, um, Ethereum, Cardano, Solana, they can add any coin they want, and that's going to make it so easy for millions of people to transact with that crypto. It's going to add billions of dollars in like volume to the crypto market, and this is very, very exciting. So I just want to quickly point this out to you, but hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts on crypto, what's going on, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.